Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Hunter Ford. I am the president and captain for the Dodgeball Club at VCU and also this year's director of nationals. I want to welcome everybody to this year's 2018 All-Star Selection Show. I am joined by Alex Janowskis, Colby Bryceland, Grant Weber, Tora Oda, and the NCDA's own Zygmus Milani. So just to kind of give you guys a quick rundown of how we're gonna do things, uh, we're just gonna be doing a snake style, round by round draft. Everybody will get a chance to talk about their picks, maybe why they picked them, what they know about them, or just awkward silence if they don't know anything about the person, which we'll probably come to see. Uh, besides that, I also just wanted to congratulate our four first ever player captains of our 2018 All-Star event. So welcome guys, I'll let them introduce themselves. Hey, I'm, uh, I'm Alex Yanowskis from Grand Valley. Uh, no. And uh, yeah, I'm one of their two All-Stars. Sounds good. Um, I'm Tora Oda from VCU. Uh, and uh, I'm glad to be here. I'm Corey Bryson from University of Akron. Um, one of one of our two All Stars, first time All Star, and uh, I'm also happy to be here. I'm Grant Weber. It's my second year in the league, and it's an honor to be an All Star. Great stuff. So. Um, all of these individuals were selected by their team to be representatives uh, for the All-Star game this year. And as far as their selection for the player captains goes, uh, we did this in a unique way this year. What we did this year is we did a social media challenge across all of our major uh, social media platforms, which includes Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and let the fans have their choice of deciding who they wanted to see as the player captains for this year. So as a result, these four individuals won uh, from that contest, and now they have the chance to draft players for the All-Star event. So to kind of explain uh, what we're gonna do this year as well, besides the implementation of the new uh, player captain uh, selection and the draft style that we'll be using this year, we're also doing a four team tournament, which hasn't been done before. That way we're getting, a, getting people a little bit more action and it's gonna be a single point sudden death type of style between each of the teams. So the first one to score will win and move on to the next round until we have one winner determined from our four participating teams. So every single team had an opportunity to submit two all-stars to come to the event. Whether or not uh, the team will be participating, we also still have team sending representatives, which is always awesome to see and definitely some of the best dodgeballers that you'll see at the collegiate level in the entire country. So definitely looking forward to the event. It's always something that we've taken a lot of pride in and it's gonna be a lot of fun as always. A couple other different changes to the All-Star game this year. We're going to be implementing a couple of different rule proposals that we've seen. So the biggest and most obvious change is gonna be the 27 foot throw line. Traditionally, the NCDA always uses a 30-foot throw line for its attack line distance. However, a rule proposal is out there to decrease that distance to 27 feet. So we're going to be implementing that during the All-Star game as a means of testing uh, the effectiveness of the 27-foot throw line. Additionally, some more minor changes. We're also eliminating running starts. So teams will not allow to try to time the opening rush and then additionally, false starts will be awarded with a first warning and then a penalty after the first warning. So some small changes along with the most obvious change being the change to the throw line distance. Now, with that being said, I've already talked way too much, so I'm going to allow the draft to commit. Uh, in terms of the order that we're doing, so we're doing a snake style draft and we're doing it based in order of who received the most votes during our uh, uh, social media contest. So it's going to be going in order from Alex to Tora to Colby to Grant. And then once again, we're doing a snake style. So in the following round, it's going to be Grant, Colby, Tora, Alex, and alternating thus far throughout the rest until all the all stars have been selected. So with that being said, we can go, and get, go ahead and get started. Alex, you have the first pick. I'm going to go ahead and take Brandon Meisel, captain for Grand Valley. He's uh catcher uh, 
uh, smart really can do it all. That's what I'm going to take him. Absolutely. And just like that, all the GV players are pick. off the board. All right, Tora, you have the second pick of the first round. Uh, I'm going to take Christopher De Jesus. He's a he's from Stevenson University, and I really love the way he plays. He's a really good thrower and a catcher, so I really love to have him on my team. Yes, and I'm sure he loves having his name mispronounced. So <laughs> uh, that's that's what I always call him. So. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just messing with you, Tora. All right, Colby, uh, you have the third pick of the first round. Um, I'm going to take the snub of our generation. He sh- he should have been uh, an all uh, yeah an all American the past couple seasons. I'm taking Jeff Starr from OSU. Uh, this guy, um, he's really got it all. Um, he's great catcher, great thrower, great on court presence and leader, and his dodgeball IQ is um, higher than most. So. Um, in my mind, he's going to be the best pick of the draft. So I'm going with Jeff. Awesome stuff. All right, Grant, and you have the final pick of the first round. Uh, I am surprised that he made it this far. I'm definitely taking Mike Riley. I do has the best IQ in the game. And I, I guess that Jeff Starr's got good ties with uh, Jeff um, with Kobe. So I can see why he went with him. Must be a little home tie advantage right there. So I'm taking Riley. Great stuff. And that concludes our first round. So the first four names off the board, we have Brandon yeah, Meisel, cool. Christopher DeJesus, Jeff Starr, and Mike Riley. Definitely some guys that have a lot of name recognition within the league and have certainly earned their stripes to be selected as for the first four representatives. So now on to the second round. Grant has the first pick of the second round. Uh, I know I passed on some talent with Schilling and Hazard's in the there still, but I picked uh, the rookie from NSU, Schuster, got Can. Talks trash. I've seen him and uh, DePoro get into it at uh, in one of their games, and it's really entertaining. Awesome stuff. So a freshman phenom that Kevin has touted all season being taken off the board. Great stuff. All right. So next pick of the second round goes to Colby. I'm going to go with the uh, the veteran from JMU, Doug Schilling. Um I watched this guy play at the war, and despite the uh, the results from the tournament, um, it was one of the first times I've actually watched JMU um, with like intent to um, to judge their play. And he really, um, when he was on the court, he made a big difference for JMU. Um, not just his play, his leadership, his um, on court presence, but uh, despite him having a surgery on his arm, he, this dude has got a cannon. He can catch anything within arm's reach. So I'm going with Doug. Great stuff. Great stuff. All right, Tora, third pick of the second round. Uh, I'm going to pick Michael Hindley. Hindley. Sorry. Sorry. Um, we always play with, play this guy with, against Towson, and uh, he's always a problem with the, to us. So he's a really good player, a really smart player. And I'm going to pick him. Awesome stuff. And then, Alex, you have the last pick of the second round. I'm going to go ahead and go with Nick Hazergen from SVSU. Um, I think everyone knows this already, but he's got a hell of an arm. And with that 27-foot throw line, that's going to look even better. Scary. Definitely don't doubt that. So with that, we have concluded the second round. And... Those being taken off the board in order, we have Peyton Schuster, Doug Schilling, Michael Heinley, and Nick Hazergen. And got to say, definitely a lot of throwing power within that lineup. And, you know, certainly bodes well, like uh, Alex pointed out, with the 27-foot throw line. So hope to see a lot of kills out of those individuals. So great stuff. On to the third round. Alex, you have the first pick of the third round. I'm going to go ahead and take Jordan Watt. Uh, I don't know where he came from, but when we went and played at JMU and the Bees, throwing our guys out left and right, he's got a hell of an arm. So I'm going to take him for the same reason that I took uh, Hazer Jim. If you want to know where he came from, he came from the Marines. Oh, makes a lot of sense. Yeah. All right. Awesome stuff. Uh, Tora, you have the second pick in the third round. Uh, I'm going to take Tyler Hallman from Kent, and 
Yeah, I I wanted to take someone from Ohio, and uh, I I guess I just picked him. I don't know. Fair enough. All right, Colby, you're next. Tyler Pollen was going to be my next choice because dude, dude's a baller. Uh, so good pick on that. But I got a uh, Jake Sam from PSU. Um, I got a couple good throws on my team. Uh, Jake Sam's an incredible catcher, and so that's really going to help us out. Um, be a more well-rounded team. So I, got, I went with him. <laughs> yeah, you'll probably have the most fun playing with him. Kid's got a high motor, loves to have a lot of fun on the court, and really easy to get along with. So I think that's a great selection. And then Grant, you have the last pick of the third round. Uh, this kid, he was Evan Eschenberg. He wasn't able to come to a home tournament, but Schilling spoke highly of him. Said he has a cannon, so I want to see it. So he wants to see it. I like it. All right, that concludes the third round uh, with the first pick, Jordan Watt, uh, and followed by Tyler Paulman, Jake Som, and Evan Eschenberg, and. Definitely can't argue with those guys either. So uh, interesting, interesting uh, exchange. Uh, Colby going for a guy who's primarily seen as more of a catcher. Definitely one of the top catchers in the league. Maybe using that to help offset some of the power throwers from other guys. So really, uh, really interesting stuff there. So now we're on to the fourth round. And Grant will have the first pick of the fourth round. Uh, I took Tyler Wickham from G- BGSU. Great kid. He's an all-around player, can catch and throw, he's, and he's really good. Yeah, not much else needs to be said. Uh, Colby, you are now the second pick. Um, picking the complete opposite that I did the last round, I got a Jacob Holbert from uh, OSU. Um, I was kind of batting my time with him. I didn't uh, know if a lot of people knew who he was. Um, I sure do. Um, I got a mean cross from him last year that uh, gave, gave me a black eye. So uh, ever since then, he's been on my radar. Um, yeah, dude's got a cannon. Um, nothing else to say. Um, he's going to be a great addition to my team. Absolutely. All right, Tora, you have the next pick. Uh, I'm going to take... Kenny Mize from SVSU. Uh, <laughs> is he a rookie? I don't know who he is. Yeah, I explained what the word is and not how to pronounce it. <laughs> uh, sorry for my pronunciations, but uh, uh, yeah. Tora, this is where you draw the foreign card. And, and make it seem like you 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 don't know. Uh, I still got my green card, so. <laughs> Atta boy, yeah. We we recruited this kid all the way from Japan to come play dodgeball. So there's a there's a reason he's here. How much you paying him? Uh, how much are we paying him? <laughs> he gets uh he gets tuition. That's what he gets. <laughs> He's on that international fund. All uh, right. And then the last, last pick of the fourth round goes to Alex. I'm going to go with uh, Daniel Tori Danqua from MSU. Uh, I don't know how to say his name, but I know that he's quick. He's a smart dodgeball player. He can catch. He can throw. Really solid all-around guy. Yeah, for sure. Uh, definitely, definitely an athletic player. And – also another guy who likes to have a ton of fun on the court and has a high motor. So I uh, don't disagree with the pick there at all. And so concluding our fourth rounds of picks going in order, uh, Tyler Wickham of BGSU was selected by Grant Weber. And then following suit, uh, we had Jacob Holbert, Kenny Mize, and then Daniel Afori Denkwa from MSU. So a bunch of other really great picks and, uh, Interesting. Tora kind of took the Tora kind of took the approach that Colby did last last round, going with a solid catcher uh, to try and offset some of the power throwers again from other groups. So, uh, you know, some interesting dynamics going on once again. All right, that segues us into the fifth round, where Alex will have the first pick. Uh, I'm gonna go with David Haberman here from Kent. Uh, I don't know who that is, but I have heard that he is very solid. So, <laughs> honesty. That's uh, David is. Um, 
Yeah, David uh, is the captain for Kent State's team this year, one of the captains for Kent's team. And uh, he's got a really good throw. Um, he's uh, also deceptively athletic. Uh, you know, you look at him and you don't really think much of him, but he can move He can move pretty quickly. can also get some pretty good catches, um, you know, uh, here and there. So definitely a good pick. His arm's going to be the strongest thing going for him during the game. All right, and Tora, you are get the second pick of the fifth round. I am going to pick Wayne Short from VCU. Uh, I know what he's capable of, and he's capable of doing amazing things, so I want him on my team. For sure. Glad you did not mispronounce your own teammate's name there. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> All right, um, next on to Colby Bryceland. I decided to go with uh, Max Kowalski from BGSU. Um, he's a great all-around player. He can really do it all. Um, I've seen him make dudes like 6'4", and he can make diving catches, goes goes to the ground super quickly. And uh, I don't know if you've seen the size of him. The guy's got a cannon for an arm as well. But, uh, yeah, I think he's going to um, do great for our team, uh, maybe uh, pick some of the slack from uh, the lack of catchers I've chosen so far. But uh, we'll see. For sure. Yeah, Max is uh, definitely one of the Sir Swoles of the BGSU team, along with uh, Owen Sill. Uh, but, you know, I think the real power from Max actually comes from his legs and more specifically the camo shorts he always wears during games. Uh, I think it gives him a distinct advantage of not getting noticed by other teams. So uh, I'm just playing. All in good fun, though. Great pick overall. And then, Grant, you have the last pick of the fifth round. Uh, I took Zachary Perez out of Kentucky. Uh, played him twice at Nationals last year. I think we ran against each other. But um, he did not back down, and he made it a challenge. So I like that. Yeah, Zach's a, Zach's a good player, good guy. Uh, he's the president for Kentucky's team this year. So uh, And also got selected to be an assistant captain. So uh, another solid pickup. So that concludes the, the fifth round with uh, going in order, David Haberman, Wayne Short, Max Kowalski, and Zach Parise off the board. So great stuff. And on to the sixth round where oh, Grant before that, the first pick. Before the sixth round, oh. your sponsor, Interlude. Uh, well, you can take a look at the board. But our uh, sponsor, of course, is Savage Ultimate Apparel. Get all your needs from your jersey needs from Savage Ultimate. And not just jersey needs, but also other general apparel. They've got a great store selection if you want to uh, get T-shirts. They always do mystery T-shirts for $7. Really high-quality gear uh, that you can get out of them. All right. Thank you for the awesome plug, Zig. And then uh, on to the sixth round. Uh, like I said, Grant will have the first pick. Uh, I took um, Morgan McLean from Penn State University. Uh, you sound like a catcher, and I need a catcher. Yeah, Morgan is. Uh, <laughs> Morgan's got a big presence on the court. He can definitely. Uh, his, their most recent tournament, Rally in the Valley, he definitely had some good catches against JMU. Um, also has a good arm to complement him as well. So uh, I think definitely a Sweet. solid pickup for six. I like round. that. Yeah. All right, Colby, you're next. Um, I went with Tom Moran for Miami. Uh, Miami's been like to me the shock of the season. Um, last year uh, we whooped on him like five to one, and the one point was scored because you know average tomfoolery that happens at the end of dodgeball matches. <laughs> but um, they 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 managed to uh, get their first win against us uh, at our home tournament, the War. It was three two. It was a very competitive game most competitive I've seen them play. And then um, at their uh, first home tournament, they managed to go undefeated against an OU team, uh, an OSU team. I can't remember who else uh, attended that tournament, CSU maybe. Um, but then there's most recent tournament they went to, or they, yeah, they uh, managed to have a very impressive show and going 3-0. and I think Tom Moran is uh, one of the biggest pieces of that success. Um, and he's also a great guy, so I decided to go with him. Decline my trade for, for sure. 
Yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not trading for him. <laughs> for sure, for sure. All uh, right, uh, Tora, you have the next pick. I'm going to pick Adam Hines from Ohio. Uh, he's a really good all-around guy. Uh, he can throw, he can catch, and I needed him on my team. He says he needed him on his team. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, Tora speaks from firsthand experience when it comes to uh, when it comes to playing against Adam. When we most when we played them most recently at the War, uh, Adam arguably single handedly like eliminated all of our throwers just from making catch by catch by catch against us and kept it a really competitive game. So uh, don't disagree with Torres' chain of logic there. Yeah. And then the last pick of the sixth round will go to Alex. Uh, I'm going to go with it took me as it was, um, but Adam Pfeiffer from Akron. Uh, Grub. I remember playing Akron <laughs> a year or two ago. And uh, I'm pretty sure he has an arm. So, and he's really competitive. He, he gets into it, and I like that. So I'm gonna take Adam here. Yeah, Adam definitely plays with a lot of fire, uh, especially if you get on his bad side. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, that concludes the sixth round, and uh, off the board now is Penn State's Morgan McLean. Uh, Tom Rand out of Miami, Adam Hines from Ohio, and then Adam Pfeiffer uh, from Akron. And then moving on to the sixth round, uh, Alex, seventh uh, round. or seventh round, excuse me. Thank you for correcting me. Seventh round, uh, Alex, you have the first pick. I'm going to go with Alex Scott here. Um, Alec is close to Alex, and I thought that was pretty cool. So <laughs> <laughs> right there. Absolutely. Uh, Alec comes out of DePaul and guy with a really strong arm. Um, also, arguably the best beard in the league. So uh, you get two points for that one. He's also All from right. Long Beach. If you want to he's, from, he's from Long Beach, really? Yeah, California. I would – actually, no, I could kind of see that. I could see that. Guessed. All right, and then, Tora, you will have the next pick of the seventh round. Uh, I'm going to pick Josh Wynn from WKU. Um, with a last name like that, I wanted it on my team. With <laughs> a last name like that. Fair enough. You want to win. Fair enough. You know, I mean, hey, the pick before that, Alex chose Alec because it's close. You choose win because you want to win. I mean, hey, but, you know, it all works. All right, Colby, uh, next pick. So it seems contrary to the other captains. I actually know who I'm drafting. Um, <laughs> I'm mean? with DJ Murdoch from Ohio. Um, guy is just like a straight athlete. Uh, can catch, can dodge, can throw. Um, really good bro- blocker. Really uh, great guy to have on the court. Um in uh in tough situations he he manages to uh somehow evade like team throws like nobody i've ever seen so um i'm glad i got to pick him on the roster awesome stuff and then grant you get the last pick of the seventh round uh i picked zane durbin at the university of virginia uh, he sounds fast and i'm a firm believer that if you win the rush you have a good chance of winning the game yeah, Zane is a uh, sophomore out of this team, and he's oh, definitely yeah. one of the team leaders this year. Um, has a really strong arm uh, on him for such a young guy, and uh, he's definitely like one of young. The, yeah, he's a. Um, I mentioned him previously in another article. He's one of like the I would consider the future stars of uh, the East Coast. So um, definitely. And I, and I don't even want to really say future. He's definitely one of the best, uh, one of the top guys on his team and arguably one of the top guys on the East Coast too. So uh, a very good seventh round pick out of Grant. Good, good for him getting an all-star nod. Yeah. So that concludes the seventh round, which included Alex Scott out of DePaul, Josh Wynn, DJ Murdoch, and of course, Zane Durbin, as we just previously mentioned. So that will move us to the eighth round. And Grant has the first pick of the eighth round. Um, I took Nathan Stock out of the University of Maryland. Uh, He seems 
Like he makes some crazy catches, and that's really entertaining and a lot of fun to watch. So I want to see that. Yeah, for sure. Nathan uh, Nathan is a good athlete also, as you pointed out, does make some pretty good catches, had some good catches against uh, us this past weekend. So uh, another good pick, another good late round pick. And you're going to see a lot of really good late round picks. I think this year's uh, all-star list is deeper than we've traditionally seen out of most teams uh, in the past. So uh, definitely pleased with a lot of the names that we have even in later rounds. So good stuff. That ends my uh, rant right there. So, Colby, you get the next pick. Uh, I need some fire on my team. So, I got Ethan Kraus uh, out of UCF. Um, I'm not sure if he's the one who runs a Twitter page for UCF or uh, that Twitter um, bout that uh, started their uh, introduction to the league. But uh, I liked it. I liked it a lot. Um, The fact that they went from winning a foam tournament to starting in the league uh, just really, really impressed me. And even though they haven't got a win yet, um, I, I just I like the fire. And so uh, I added him on my roster. Yeah. Had a chance to uh, meet up with uh, the UCF team when I went down to help officiate at North Georgia's tournament. And uh, honestly, for a guy at his first ever tournament, I wouldn't have thought about wouldn't have thought about it like that. I mean, the kid was uh, doing a lot of really high level things, making sure that he was able to throw well on the run had a couple of diving catches as well and was definitely blocking for himself. And as you will probably come to realize once game day comes around Colby, I'll, I'll wager to guess he'll probably be one of the hardest guys to hit. So I'll just leave it at that. All right. Uh, next pick of the eighth round goes to Torah. I'm going to pick Wilson Homer uh, from WKU. Um, I'm hoping to see some chemistry with Josh Wynn and, uh, yeah. Good stuff. And then last pick of the eighth round, we'll go to Alex. Uh, I'm going to go with Kevin Fry from, uh, Ball State, baller from Ball State. I cannot say I've seen him play, but I have heard good things about him as well. Yeah, Kevin was a uh, former University of Kentucky player who uh, transferred to Ball State after last year and then uh, helped, you know, obviously loved his experience at Kentucky enough to start up a new team at Ball State. So congrats to him for getting that process going. And uh, they've already got a couple of tournaments under their belt. So really great to see out of uh, a new team like that. So that concludes our eighth round. And with that uh, off the board now is Nathan Stock, Ethan Krause, Wilson Horner, and Kevin Fry. So that will push us into the ninth round. Zig, you got any more uh, sponsorship plugs you need to put out there? No, it's just this is the we've uh, had Savage under contract for two years. We actually uh, they did some of our shirts for the third nationals um, when they're first getting started with us. So um, a lot of teams have, have uh, developed and gotten their jerseys through Savage. And I think it's great. They're a nice design company. A lot of elite teams are going with them as well. They're just, it's, it's out there. So it's just, just for you. This is the all-star game draft presented by Savage. Presented by Savage. Excellent. All right. So on to the ninth round, uh, Alex, first pick. Yeah, I'm, uh, at this point, I'm not seeing anyone that I really recognize. And I'm going to go with some chemistry <laughs> by drafting Cordell Pressler out of Ball State. Uh, hopefully him and Kevin will be on the same page out there. <laughs> awesome stuff. Uh, Tora, you got the next pick. Uh, I'm going to pick Thomas Clement. From UNG, uh, just like Alec, I'm not really sure about my picks, but uh, hoping that he can contribute to my team. No worries. Yeah, Thomas, uh, another guy I had a chance to meet uh, when I went down to Georgia, and uh, kid's got a really good arm. Uh, also uses his feet really well. Um, puts himself in the right position to make plays and. Uh, is a guy who has stepped in well for um, being a younger guy on uh, a young team in UNG. So uh, definitely a lot of good stuff out of there. And he's also a really funny guy, fun to be around and talk to. So uh, 
you'll get a lot of, you'll get a lot of uh, fun personalities during this game. All right, so Colby, you have the next pick of the ninth round. I, I went with uh, Dominic Tyberski uh, out of Miami. Pretty sure he's a freshman. Um, 98% sure on that. Um, he's just a great player. Um, for being as young as he is, I watched Miami um, at the Ohio Dodgeball Cup, and kid was incredible. Uh, really, really impressed me. So I, I, went, I went with him. Excellent stuff. All right, and Grant, you have the last pick of the ninth round. Uh, I'm going to botch this one, but I'm going to take uh, Zach Frangi out of uh, Georgia, Sud- Georgia Southern, I believe. Is that yep. correct? That's correct. Yeah, um, I like what you guys did. I don't know if it was you or Georgia Northern, but how do you challenge that UCF to get into the league? I thought that was pretty cool. I like that, so I'm picking you guys. That will be my second pick, the next pick in the next round. Yeah, uh, he was actually our Mr. Irrelevant last year for the All-Star Draft, uh, was um, the last pick, but certainly proved uh, – he certainly has proven to me that he can be um, a really big player, not only just for his team, but within uh, the NCAA as well. Uh, it right. seemed like any time that he was on the court for Georgia Southern, they had a chance, and he made a lot of really big pushes for them, definitely racking up multiple kills per point, uh, it seemed like, for them. So uh, solid pickup, solid cool. late, late round pickup from Grant. So Might be a steal. Uh, some stuff. All right. And that concludes our ninth round with Cordell Pressler from Ball State being taken off first from the ninth round, followed by UNG's Thomas Clements, Miami's Dominic Tyberski, and then Georgia Southern Zach Frangi. So great picks. Once again, great picks from the ninth round. Uh, on to the 10th round. Grant, you have the first pick of the 10th round. Okay. So it's um, Bailey Hankins from University of Northern Georgia, same as last pick. Uh, I like what they're doing out there, and I'll, I'll take uh, some advice from uh, Alex and do the chemistry there. You know, same state. For sure, a lot of the same stuff I said about uh, uh, Tom, his teammate Thomas Clements earlier. You can say about Bailey. Um, definitely got a high motor, uses his feet well, good arm to complement him. So good pick, good pick. Uh, Colby, you got the next pick. Um, I'm one of Daniel Presby from uh, Ball and Wallace. Uh, I wasn't sure if they were attending. I don't know if that's confirmed or any, anything yet. But uh, dude's ambidextrous. That's pretty awesome. Um, like I never know where he's throwing from because he's always turning in different directions and, uh, and then just like surprising me. Um, he's definitely one of the highlights of uh, BW's team. They're a great group of guys, and to stand out on a, from a great group of guys like that uh, just said something to me, so I went with him. Excellent stuff. All right, Tora, you get the uh, next pick. I will pick Evan Cocklehoffer. <laughs> Close enough. Go Good for it. Sorry about that. But, uh, yeah, he's from University of Kentucky, and they produce a lot of great athletes, so I'm going to pick him. Yeah, he's got a uh, solid left-handed throw on him, so uh, another good another good late round. Uh, late round pickup. So that leaves Alex with the last pick of the 10th round. Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't know if Baldwin Wallace is going to be there. I don't know where that universe. Um, I started looking up people on and Austin, my half. So I'm going to go with him here. <laughs> I think it's going to be a great pick. I to have him on the squad. All right, great stuff. And that concludes our 10th round. So that uh, takes off Bailey Hankins, Daniel Presby, Evan Catchelloffer, and Austin Mag. So good stuff. All right, on to the 11th round. Alex, once again, your pick. Here, Casey Alfoltis out of NSU. Looks like an athlete. Uh, I looked him up as well. Excited to have him on the squad. Yep. Awesome to see. Uh, awesome. Hopefully we get a chance to see uh, Northwestern State uh, compete at Nationals again. It was a great time to see them last year. So, um, you know, ho- really hoping that they're able to follow through and make the trip. All right, Tora, you got the next pick. 
uh, I will pick Sean Sullivan from UMD. He gave us a lot of trouble this weekend, so I decided to pick him. For sure. Uh, definitely very active on the court, both, uh, both with his physical play as well as his mouth. So I think he's going to really get into the heads of a lot of other teams during the All-Star game, which – can be which can go really well uh, if he you know draws a lot of throws and attention his way. So uh, solid, solid player right there. Colby, you have the next pick. I went with Eric Baim from uh, CSU. Um, he's uh, for being on such a young team. Um, he's obviously learned um, how to lead a team, and they uh, they improve every single time I play them. And he's one of the standout players on that team. Um, got a really good arm, and uh, so I think he's going to um, transition well on my team. Awesome stuff. And then, Grant, you have the last pick of the 11th round. All right, definitely going to botch this one. Um, it's all right. Hey, I'll be 100%. Uh, cheer from Stevenson University, right? Yep. Uh, That's right. I've uh, I seen Christopher De Jesus or Jesus play elite and he looked pretty good, so I feel like he's teaching those kids over some good, good stuff. So I feel like he's got a lot of potential. Yeah, I wouldn't I would not disagree at all. I think Hayden Hayden's another uh, young guy. He's actually I believe a freshman. If not, I know this is at least his rookie year, um, and he he. Um, plays with a lot of poise for a young guy. Uh, he doesn't really panic into making throws uh, when he gets close to people and has a, has a surprisingly strong arm uh, whenever he gets a chance to get a full windup in. So um, really solid kid overall. And that concludes the 11th round with Casey A from Insula because they did send two Casey's, which was, I thought, the highlight of this entire draft. But that's just me. Yeah. No. Anyways, uh, Casey number one from Insula off the board. And then uh, Sean Sullivan goes to Toro Oda, Eric Baim to Colby. And then I'm just going to say Hayden to Grant because I honestly don't remember how to pronounce his last name either. But oh, man. I at least have seen him play and know he's a good guy. So that's, I think that matters a lot more than – I think that let, matters yeah. more than the name's sake. I gave him my best effort. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so on to the 12th round, and Grant, once again, it'll be your selection. Uh, I took Austin Bullock from uh, Georgia Southern. Once again, you got to get that chemistry in. They play each other a lot, uh, so they definitely know what, uh, what each other's like habits are, and that will be really helpful for our team. Yeah, Austin, uh, Austin was another guy that uh, sort of surprised me for Georgia Southern. Um, he uh, he's I don't believe he had I think this is his uh, rookie year because I don't remember seeing him last season, but uh, he's got a really solid pinch throw nonetheless, even if it's only his first or second year and uh, uh, can definitely take some people out at the ankles. Um, he's okay. got a pretty he's got a pretty decently accurate throw along with enough good power to, like I said, be able to pick some people off if they're not uh, ready. So. Nice. Solid, solid pick. And Colby, you have the next pick. I went with Samuel Culver um, from UCF. Um, I'm hoping uh, with having Ethan on my team that they work well together. Um, same thing I can say about Ethan. I would say um, I liked how uh, their introduction to the league was. Uh, can't find the right word for it, but it was it was really loud. Their their interest was loud. Uh, it, like it was it was a big thing that they came to the league. And uh, I think what they're doing down there is great. And the fact that they um, were able to travel in their first year and make it to nationals in their first year is just incredible. So how about with them? Absolutely. Uh, I think really the best part about Sam is the fact that he's also number four and the captain of his team. I might be speaking that with a little bit of bias, but, uh, you know, I think those are essential qualities to being a true team leader. So Number fours are overrated. Yeah, I think uh, I think another, <laughs> yeah, they're not very good. I think another member of the uh, executive board might disagree, but who knows? Historically, I don't know if any uh, players old. that are number four that were actually that good. Yeah, but you I might hope, be right. But I hope, I hope Sam Chen turns that around, though. 
the guy in Brandon now is pretty solid. He's he's developing into a pretty good guy. The guy. Where- yeah, Blake from uh, Grand Valley, the current number four. Definitely a lot taller, Blake more muscular, Lavender. more attractive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> more attractive number four uh, than in recent memory for Grand Valley. So uh, I'd have to agree with Alex I don't there. Think I'm number four, actually. He's washed up. <laughs> All right. Uh, on to the next pick of the 12th round. Tora, you have the selection. Uh, I'm going to pick Will Martin from UWP. Uh, I've never seen UWP play, but I'm excited to see what he brings to the table. All right, fair Will enough. He's pretty great. He's a pretty great guy. You'll like him. <laughs> sounds like Tora has an ordinary name. So, uh, sounds like Tora has uh, Tora definitely has the best personality team thus far. I'll say that much. So, at least at least you'll have fun playing. All right. Uh, <laughs> Alex, you have the next pick of the 12th round. Yeah, I'm going to go with R. Kelly here out of uh, <laughs> University of Virginia. Um, we played him at the Beast Tournament. Virginia was, uh, you know, we were beating on him, and they were still having fun playing, and that's uh, – I'm hoping they'll bring that to the All-Star team because I like to have fun playing dodgeball, and it's easy to forget to do that sometimes. Completely understandable. All right, and that concludes the 12th round. So off the board, we had Austin Bullock out of Georgia Southern, Sam Culver from the University of Central Florida, Will Martin from the Wisconsin Platteville Pioneers, and then Ryan Kelly out of the University of Virginia team, which lost to UMBC in the first round of the NCAA tournament and completely ruined my bracket. I'm not mad, though. I'm not mad. Man, that's tough. It's still too soon for all those guys. Actually, at the um, at the Penn State tournament, one of the uh, Penn State fans brought a fake scoreboard sign with UMBC and UVA since Penn State was playing UVA that day. So, major <laughs> major props to that guy. So that was uh, that was very creative. Savage. Yes, Our apparel indeed. sponsor. Uh, yeah, Sav- <laughs> Savage Apparel sponsoring the <laughs> Savage uh, the Savage fan base that is Penn State. All right, uh, on to the thirteenth round of the twenty eighteen All Star Draft. Alex, you're on the clock. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go Tim Ebert here, University of Wisconsin Platteville. Um, I'm sure we've played him. Uh, but I'm not sure of all the Wisconsin Platteville guys' name. I have a lot of respect for them, their willingness to travel, though. They uh, have come to a couple tournaments in Michigan. Yeah. Bob and that's, that's a far drive from Wisconsin. So Play top talent. Appreciate that. Excellent stuff. All right, Tora, you have the next pick. I'm going to pick Ryan Atz uh, from DePaul. I've also never seen DePaul play, but I'm excited to play with him. Yeah, as far as uh, as far as some earlier information we received, uh, Ryan's got uh, Ryan's a pretty good catcher. Um, definitely one of the top tier players out of uh, DePaul's team, and uh, again, another good personality. So. Tora, you're keeping up that uh, personality train team going on right there. So, good stuff. All right. And then, Colby, you have the next pick. I went with uh, Tanner Obermeyer out of uh, UNL. I hope I said your last name right. Uh, If not, I apologize. But uh, I see you posting a lot on the captain's page. And that kind of, like, to me, it's like shows, like, a willingness to learn and, like, to get better uh, at the executive part of this job, which is – one of the more annoying parts of being a captain. So uh, props to you on that. That's why I chose you. Dude sticks up for his team. Indeed he does. And that's something you got to respect. Yeah. All right. And Grant, you will have the last pick of the 13th round. Um, I took Jordan Bamerlin from Cleveland State, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, 
I haven't played Cleveland State, and I seen them at Nationals last year, and they looked like a fun team to play. Seemed like they know how to have a good time. All right. You know, I, I would have guessed that you would have taken them just based on the last name, but, uh, you know. Oh, I, I didn't even think about that. I hope that's true. Anywho, so that concludes our 13th round with uh, Tim Ebert. Ebert, Ebert, I'm not entirely sure. I'm sorry, bud. I hope, hopefully I get a chance to meet you this week, or not this weekend, excuse me. Oof. Three weekends <laughs> from now. Um, and then additionally being taken off the board, Ryan Atz, Tanner Obermeyer, and then Jordan Bamerlin. So that will push us into the 14th and final round of this year's 2018 All-Star Draft. So with that being said, Grant, you have the first pick. I take uh, Casey Jones out of Ensula. I think that sounds really cool, and that's why I picked him. Yeah, Jones is a very smooth last name. So sounds dependable. You know what you'll get out of him. So might as well, right? Yeah. He's also a character from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's cool. Oh, dang. You're right. Wow. I, I just got thrown back. All right. Uh, on that note, Colby, you have the next pick. Uh, I got Nick Bolin from uh, UNL. Uh, hopefully uh, the synergy with uh, him and Tanner uh, works well for my team. Um, don't really know much about the guy, but I'm hoping he's a good addition to my roster, and I'm thinking he's going to be. Awesome stuff. Tora, you have the next pick. I'm going to pick Alex Heyerman from Midland. Uh, I picked him purely because of his last name. So glad to have you on my team. Glad to have you on the team. That's all, I, that's all you got to say, man. Just glad to have you on the team. All right. And with that being said, we are down to our final pick, the Mr. Irrelevant of the 2018 All-Star Draft, but not actually irrelevant. Uh, go ahead, Alex. Uh, I'm going to go with Tyler Nelson out of Midland here. Um, I've heard he's a hell of a player. And, yeah, I'm excited to have him on the team. All right. Awesome stuff. So with that, that concludes all of our selections for the 2018 All-Star Draft. So these will be the teams that will be representing, uh, representing the league at this year's All-Star event. So it will consist of um, these players with their respective teams. And then at a later date, we're going to be releasing the All-Star uniforms. And with that being said, guys, uh, great selection show. I have to say, um, if I'm picking one roster that I'm looking at right now that I have the most confidence in, uh, it'd probably be, be it would probably be Grant's team. Uh, just as far as uh, as far as names go, uh, going from his first round, I shouldn't even say from his first round, just from Grant all the way down to uh, Austin from uh, Georgia Southern a lot of guys on there that I know can make plays and are people that I would be glad to have on my team. So, Sweet. um, good to hear. I'm definitely. To have them. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely a lot of good balance too, between uh, catchers and throwers on that squad. So, uh, what good stuff need. there. I'd say, uh, to, as I said earlier, Torres got the team with the most personality. Uh, and you're going to get, you're going to get that all a lot out of, uh, a lot of these guys. So good stuff there. Um, if I had to pick, let's see. I would say as far as one of the best late round picks, uh, Ryan Kelly out of DVA was a pretty solid pickup for Alex. I know Ryan he doesn't. Kelly. I know he doesn't really know him personal personally, but uh, definitely one of the top picks out of the uh, 12, uh, 12, 13th, and fourteenth rounds. So good stuff there. And then uh, Colby. Yeah. I don't have anything nice to say about you, so I won't say anything at all. <laughs> That's fine. Be ready, for, be ready for a, a bunch of WWE references from me and Jeff, so be aware of that. Excellent stuff. I'm coming for it all. Team Blue. Team Blue. All right. And then uh, as far as how we are going to decide the decide the team matchups for who will play who in the, uh, in the final four games leading up to the championship – uh, we're just going to end up doing a random random selection for that. I just have a number generator 
that I've been lazy to getting around to doing. So I will announce that along with an official post at a later time. So stay tuned right. for that. And in the meantime, I guess reach out to your respective members, make sure that they are aware that they're on the squad and then figure out a way to beat up on the other teams. All right. Team White's going to become ready. <laughs> All right. Awesome stuff. Well, it's been a pleasure having you boys and let's get ready for an awesome nationals weekend once again. All right. Better See you guys. Pleasure See you boys soon. All right, Zig. Okay, I think we're good. This has been the all-star game draft presented by Savage Apparel Company. The ultimate apparel side. The ultimate apparel side. They also did our team jerseys for our uh, NCDA um, inter international collegiate friendly that we had with Canada. These are, um, this was Rebecca Chappell's jersey, but they did these. Um, and they will be providing okay. the All-Star Game jerseys to um, the All-Star players on their own thing. It's presented by them. So we're a big thanks to Savage. So, uh, Zig, do we want to uh, present the uh, ladies' uniforms? Um, yes. I have All right, the, special uh, treat for you guys. Get the first look at the ladies' match jerseys. There we go. Um, right now, this is our uh, – it'll be a basic screen print on a gold shirt, black, designed by um, our uh, one of our – a player on the West Coast, um, Fabian. Sweet. I signed Mike Riley up since we don't have any girls. Yeah. I think being captains, we should all get shirts. <laughs> Lady shirts. We'll see. Uh, we'll see what works out in the budget. Yeah. I'm going to say no. Yeah. You got to, I got to, <laughs> I got to get my uh, tuition money paid for first from y'all's nationals dues. Mm. <laughs> Spend it well. Yeah. That's what I, that's what I do with our team dues. <laughs> or, or it doesn't use it for that and buying Panda Express. That place is so good. Well, we got a Panda Express that is a two minute walk from the arena. So you That's got that deadly. going. For you. That's big. Yeah. Yeah. Then again, there's also a Waffle House across the street. So I'm sure that's going to be the go to hangover site for uh, some teams come Sunday. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, all right, guys. Thank you all for uh, coming in this draft and uh, working your way through it.